Let's go to Zanzibar. Thank you, Stan. You're the best. <laughs> Thank you so much to our friend at Regional Hair to make our bush to beach trip possible. <laughs> What is going on everyone? Welcome to the channel and I have to say, I think we found the spot. <laughs> so as far as our bush and beach trip that we're doing with the Elawana collection, we are actually now at Kalindi in Zanzibar. And this place has the perfect amount of romantic, secluded, luxury feel that I have ever been to. So I'm excited, let's show you around. So we had to start here because the pool is the best and to be honest, I was dying from getting here. Um, so this is the pool area. It is beautiful. It's like an infinity pool and then you look over and you see the ocean and there's actually a little fisherman's village there as well, which is really, really cool to see. So if we come in the back, we're gonna see the bar area. I believe we have breakfast and lunch there. We might have a cool little surprise for breakfast though. Kind of excited over that too. Um, and then at some point, maybe tomorrow, we'll show you the spa. There's too much to see tonight. Uh, let's go see our room. Do you want to come see how freaking amazing our room is? I just, I can't get over it. Welcome to our pavilion style suite. I think it's a suite. It's beautiful. Come down here first and see our amazing view. So down here overlooking the ocean, we have an amazing lounge area that's nice and covered because it can get very, very hot. And then if we come down here, we have our own private plunge pool. And if you can just see straight in front of me, sun is gonna set directly in front of our plunge pool, which is amazing. So we also have a detached bathroom here. And as you'll notice, each thing is like a little pavilion. But nobody's gonna come in, so you don't have to worry about that. But we have a shower in the middle, an open shower. You got your toilet, I got some rugs, some towels. This is really cool. I've never seen a bathroom like this detached and open. And just kind of like you're still in the forest. I love it. And last but not least, we have the master bedroom. And then you come into the master bedroom and you have a massive bed. I really think it's bigger than a king size bed. You have a coffee station here for the morning, fridge. Over there you have like your wardrobes, your safe and everything like that. But guys, let me show you my favorite part. Okay, now guys, this, this is my favorite part. Are you ready for this? We have another private plunge pool right here overlooking the sunset off of our main bedroom and then it feeds down into a lower plunge pool down there. Again guys, this is all of our room. I can't even really call it a room, almost compound. Um, so just for reference, we're in number three. I hear it's one of the better ones. I really like it. <laughs> Nobody comes to bother you. Your pavilions, you can just do whatever you want. It's beautiful and it's amazing and I love it. Guys, this is true. We always say this place is great, this place is the best. But to be honest, we always try to find those places that are just even better than the last one. But I'm telling you guys, with this property here right now, in Tanzania, it's gonna take a while before I say this is the best property ever because this is gonna be very, very hard to top. Time for a date night on the beach. For Zanzibar beach date night, I am wearing my fanciest flamingo shirt. Yes. 
Wow, wow, wow. She's staking, guys. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. So for supper tonight, we're actually having dinner on the beach, which is something that you can do during your stay here. And we're starting off with the tomato soup, but it's really like, it's just so peaceful. We have a fire, it's so romantic. I think this takes top romantic spot. So after a great supper, which was really, really good, I have to say, like some of the best seafood we've had. Tracy is not even a big fan of seafood and she it ate it really all, good. so that, that says a lot. Yeah. So they put two little bean bags straight on the sand beside the fire and we're gonna relax and, you know, finish our wine here because cheers. Why not? <laughs> I guess I'll add a sound effect. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. Cheers. Why not? <laughs> And to finish the night, we are gonna take advantage of our private plunge pool, one of two. Yeah. We have two. Oh, and it's actually chilly now. Yeah, it's nice. It was <laughs> not like this earlier. Ah. I feel like we should have I like used this. this one earlier. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna see you guys <laughs> in the morning. The camera's about to fall. The light. <laughs> Watch out, we're gonna. Okay. <laughs> Saved it. It was just like on this. And the water was coming real fast. Good morning, guys. We slept amazing. I don't know what's up with Elowana's mattresses, <laughs> but like Star Bed was amazing, so and then Tree Top was amazing. Here's amazing. Like it's a yeah, kind of yeah. mattress that I just want to like fold in my luggage and bring back <laughs> home because it's comfier than ours. So this morning, gonna relax a little bit, maybe go get yourself a coffee, and we have a very, very special breakfast planned. Yeah. So this morning, oh, that is a little chewy this morning, not gonna lie. Feels good. We have a floating breakfast. And you know what? I've actually never had one of these before. And it looks beautiful and I'm very excited and I hope I'm not gonna knock it over. <laughs> so yeah, look at this. So on our breakfast right now, we have some hot stuff coming later. Um, we've got some cheese, lots of fruit, some pastries, and mimosas. That are very uh, more on the champagne side. <laughs> I'm totally fine with that. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make a little yogurt ball. Wow. I feel like it takes up half my face. You look like Lilo in Lilo and Stitch. I got the French toast with banana and salted caramel sauce. I just realized I have these on my head. Um, and bacon. <laughs> and I got something I cannot pronounce, but this is delicious. It's like curry something with eggs, which I would have never thought that those two goes together, but it's actually very good. Let's try it. Oh my goodness. It's very good. Like it's not like mm -hmm. a, for us, like it's not really a breakfast flavor. You would never eat something like that in Canada, but it's delicious. I want that for breakfast tomorrow. It's oh, so yeah. good, eh? Very good. Since we have two pools, we decided to come to the other one. This one's a little bit warmer, I think. The last thing we want is one of our two pools to get jealous of each other. Okay, so while we're waiting for our next activity, here are a few fun facts about this place. First of all, this place was actually kind of built and designed by Benny Anderson. And if you don't know who he is, I'm gonna give you a clue. Dancing Queen! Sweet, 
<laughs> he's actually one of the singer in uh, the the group uh, ABBA so yeah. that's pretty cool he built it and after he wanted his son to manage it and everything as a hotel and a year later it was actually sold to uh, to Alawana who owned it uh, well for the past like 15 years or something like that it's so beautiful I think one of the aspects that I really like is they basically try and keep it with like the layout of the land basically yeah. um, so they don't like touch things so, unless they yeah, absolutely So lush, to. full of flowers and yeah. trees and everything. It's really, really beautiful and natural yeah. here. Fun fact, there is a Kalindi Fat. Yeah, there is. Um, so maybe we'll try and find some photos and put them up on the screen for yeah. you because we haven't seen any yet. Maybe we'll go on a walking safari later on. I think on. that's about what we're going to do. <laughs> we need to find them. <laughs> Even though we had a big and delicious breakfast, it is time for more food. But this time, we kinda are making it because we're going for a Swahili cooking class. Yeah, something different for us. Something it's different. Cool. Let's do it. I like food, so. So today we're gonna be with Abbas, who's the chef here yeah. at Kalindi, and he's gonna show us how to do some Tanzanian kind of food. Zanzibari food. Zanzibari food. Zanzibari cuisine. I'm excited. I think it's gonna be good. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, well, that's it. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> That's Again, nice. like I can't believe I made yeah. that. It's crazy. <laughs> Thanks for the help, though. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Without losing half of it. Yeah. <laughs> help. Oh, there you go. Yeah. It makes it look so easy. Yeah. <laughs> So for lunch, we have a ginger beef, which is freaking fantastic. I mean, everything is, but I made that one. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, we have a coconut fish, which is amazing. Some spinach, some rice, and some chicken. Honestly, I haven't tasted chicken yet, so I'll give you my review in a minute. <laughs> and again, we made all of this ourselves. Okay, I would say 95% the chef and 5% us. It's been like 98% of the chef. Okay, 98. <laughs> It was really good though. That was really fun. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you so much. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Sante. All right, enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so the Swahili cooking class was really, really fun. Yeah. And the chef has such a good personality. It makes it like really easy to, you know, cook with him. So that was yeah. really cool. Now we need to walk around and digest because I am so full. Yeah. So now we are on the hunt for the Kalindi Five. And we didn't find anything. That's the walking safari wasn't very successful. But the day is not over. And as usual, I don't like putting sunscreen on. So Tracy does it. Because then your hands are up. Yeah, but you realize you have to put it on me. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No. Or your wife is going to burn and <laughs> you're going to complain. <laughs> you're going to have to put on and complain about her being burnt. So. Little mango mojito. Mmm. Wow. It's made like out of fresh mango here not like that crappy thing in a can or something it's the good stuff guys so sometimes in Tanzania the low tide can wash up up to two kilometers from the main yeah. shore oh wow so right <laughs> now it is 322 and the high tide is at what 330 today yes so it's as high as it gets and it is beautiful I have never seen such crystal clear it's unbelievable calm water it's so beautiful oh, oh my god This is some of the most beautiful water I've ever seen in my entire life. It is, it is so clear. So clear, so blue, different shades of blue. It is like, like, like you see on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, I'm blown away is right now. Is this place like, even I real? Completely blown away. Plus the temperature of the water is very nice. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> what I can't understand, not understand, but like 
Floating in the Indian Ocean is something I've never experienced before. There's so much more salt than yeah. like back home. Yeah. And it takes like literally nothing. And I just float. What is this? <laughs> what a life. <laughs> Time to go check out the spa. If I can make myself get out of this beautiful water. I mean, the spa is great, but come on. This beach, pretty good. Massage, we even have a nice bath with some snacks and a bottle of bubbly. What's not to love? You don't have to have a bathing suit here, but it's a family channel. <laughs> so we didn't finish our bubbly, so you know we're not gonna waste that, so we're gonna bring it by the pool and finish it. So as we left the spa, we kind of learned other things. So like we, lot, we thought that uh, we would share with you. So basically their signature like spa experience is like a Zanzibarian spice experience, I guess yeah. I would call it. They do have a name for it. I'm sorry, I just can't get it off the top of my head right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it involves like massaging, wraps, cleansing of the face, like just a yeah. whole experience. Very it's unique cool. to Zanzibar. And then when you leave, we get a red string bracelet and it signifies prosperity, success, good luck, and all the good things. Yeah. And then they also give you a they little ask message. If they can give you a little secret message. No, like it's a I don't know if message is the right word. Okay, we'll let see. me open up. Let, let's let's open it. There are a thousand reasons to live this life. Every one of them is sufficient. By Marilyn Robinson. Cool. When do you it? As soon as you wish to be happier, we are no longer happy. Walter Landor. That's so profound. <laughs> I'm happy. All freshened up. Time for supper. <laughs> When we were at lunch for supper, he's like, hey, do you guys want me to bring you like a full red snapper and just have some like veggies and carb, basically like that. So for supper, <laughs> we have a full red snapper. It is massive. So much more meat than I ever expected to be on it. Uh, let's see how much damage we can do. <laughs> Man, oh man, oh man, this red snapper, best fish ever. I don't, I really honestly don't even have words. Like it was <laughs> the best fish cooked absolutely yeah. to perfection. And you know when like fish is overcooked, it has a bit of fishy taste, mm -hmm. nothing of that, just full of flavor. When we saw it, we were like, oh my goodness, like we're not gonna eat much of that. Oh, I thought we'd eat we, like two little fish. We made a big dent. Oh good my job. goodness. So and good. We also saw one out of five of the Kalindi five. If I said one, the bush baby. Yeah, I thought you were gonna say one bush baby. I'm like, we apparently, saw like five bush we spoke babies. to the general manager and he said that most of them are more visible in the morning. We have tomorrow. We do have an early morning, so fingers crossed. And otherwise, <laughs> we'll we'll see you in in early morning. Yeah. <laughs> good morning. I found another member of the Kalindi five, and it's I don't know. That's just a cat. So 
So I think we found it. <laughs> Elowana, you did it again. <laughs> um, it's the most romantic beach destination that we've ever been to. And like all around, round it, everything. Package. Like, everything was great about it. Words. The service, yeah. the food, everything feels luxurious. Two yeah. plunge pools. The, the main pool is beautiful. Yeah. The view of the ocean is stunning. The, yeah. the, the little fishing village there, I think, really adds to the experience as well. I love it's, it. It was phenomenal. So I'll yeah. put all their description down below as usual. And yeah, Tanzania, you will be missed. Yeah, I don't want to go home. <laughs> See you in the next one.